I picked more purple cayenne today, and uh, I have some old ones drying out the old-fashioned style, but they're sort of losing their color. So I think to speed the process up and keep them nice and purple, I'm going to bust out the dehydrator and then find a recipe for a nice rub. Well, that was a good plan. Uh, 9 or 10 hours at 125 dried them out real nice, but they basically went straight green on me. So I would love to have a nice purple spice rub, but we're going to make the best of this. They still smell great. Well, let's uh, get to grinding these up and see if we can come up with a recipe. <laughs> full of cayenne. Um, got these little green things. Let's see. Uh, it's not fully blended yet, but this is just round one. Let's see what direction we're going with this. Surprisingly, a lot of heat kept. And it tastes really fresh. Um, you know, regardless of what it looks like, they did dehydrate rather fast. Um, so it tastes nice and fresh, good heat. Um, okay, I think I have a few ideas. I'll be right back. Okay, I knew from the beginning I kind of want to do these peppers with uh, ginger and then balance that out with some garlic. So I got these. I got some fine sea salt because you're going to need salt in this. Uh, now I don't want to get too similar to the Thai lemon uh, rub I did last year. If I can figure out how to link that in YouTube videos, I will link it somewhere. Um, but I kind of took a ginger Chinese five spice on that approach, so uh, <clears throat> I had on the windowsill some tarragon. I thought, that's great. It would go together. The plant really wasn't doing much, so I just picked some leaves and dehydrated with the peppers. So I think this will give it that ginger Asian kick without being too similar to the last one I did. So um, Salt is salt, so I want to put a good variety out there to balance out the spice and then all the other ingredients too. Um, I want to use a good amount of this ginger and then equal parts garlic. So let's get this in here pretty heavy. Get this in here pretty good. Um, like I said, that wasn't a big tarragon plant. I maybe have a teaspoon worth of leaves that are pretty dry. I crumble them up, mix them around, give them another couple pulses and we'll get be right back to try it. Okay, we've pulsed it a second time. We got something that looks like this, a little more like a rub. Got my breathing under control a little bit. <clears throat> Let's give it a shot. Ooh, garlic right off the bat. Decent heat, a little bit of ginger. Tell you what, I think I nailed it on step two, just like with that rub I did last year. Um, I thought maybe it would be a step three or four, but uh, <clears> that <throat> tastes good. I um, don't know if the tarragon really comes through at all. thought it would be cool to put in there, but the garlic, ginger, sea salt, hot pepper is like a classic combination. So here you go. This is my purple, <clears throat> a.k.a. Green cayenne uh, rub from 2020 with garlic, ginger, salt, and tarragon. Uh, can't wait to put that on some chicken, on some fish, and uh, probably a bunch of other things. So, as always, if you're watching these, thanks. And I'm sure I will have uh, more videos coming soon. Take care.